so in this video I'm going to show you how to make rajma or kidney bean curry it is one of my favorite curries of all time it's so so yummy and it's a really good transition meal for anyone who has people in the family who aren't super keen about being vegetarian because it's very very filling and very hearty and it gives the same sort of satisfaction as meat so here we have a cup of kidney beans that I've soaked overnight I've drained the water and then added the minimum amount of water that my new lovely pressure cooker allows. Now I'm adding some hing to help reduce the gas forming qualities of the kitty beans. Adding half a teaspoon of ajuan seeds and one teaspoon of salt. Now I will pop the lid on my pressure cooker, put it on high pressure so it cooks faster, that makes it cook at 120 degrees and I'll, once I've brought that to pressure I'll cook that for 40 minutes. So this is my new pressure cooker and this is what it looks like when it's steaming. The steam comes out of this little knob here. And this is the safety valve which goes down when it's engaged. So it probably took about 15 minutes to come to pressure. And I actually only need to cook it for 20 minutes. It's 40 minutes if you're just cooking it on the stove without a pressure cooker. But it's 20 minutes if you're cooking it with a pressure cooker. I like to go slightly over just to make sure they cook. So I'll probably cook it at this pressure for 25 minutes. While the pressure cooker was coming to pressure, I took that time to chop up my other ingredients for my flavour base, including some red onion, or you can use brown onion. I've whizzed up my spices, which is just cumin and coriander seeds, and finally chopped some garlic, ginger and coriander stalks. So that's going to be the, the real flavour base of the meal, along with some curry leaves and a tomato. So in another pan we've heated up our oil, you can either use olive oil or ghee and then we're sautéing our onions. So add our onions and some curry leaves and stir them and then just cook them on a medium to low heat until they're soft and caramelised. So when the onions are looking a little bit like this, a little bit translucent, sticking to the bottom slightly, bit caramelised, then we add our next ingredient, which is our ginger, garlic and coriander stalk. So it's about a two inch piece of ginger that I've chopped finely, one garlic clove chopped finely and coriander stalk also chopped finely. That's going to give an amazing flavour to this dish whilst providing some wonderful medicinal benefits for our digestive fire. So we'll cook that for a few minutes then we'll add our spice mix. Okay the next step is to add our spice mix which is one teaspoon cumin, one teaspoon coriander whizzed up in a spice grinder half a teaspoon of turmeric I'm just doing it a bit there. There we go. Now we stir that in. So fry up those spices just gently and then we can add our tomato. I've just chopped this quite roughly because this tomato would, would totally break down before we add it to the beans. So the beans are cooked and the spice mix is cooked. See how the tomatoes have totally broken down. So I've switched that off and switch the beans off. I need to either release the pressure from the pressure cooker or just let it cool down naturally. 
uh, or I can put it in the sink. So I might do that and I'll take a video of that so you can see that happens. Just carried the pressure cooker over to the sink and you can either release the steam this way, which is quite dramatic, or you can just pour some cold water on it and you'll wait for this safety valve pops up. It doesn't take very long at all compared to letting the steam go. There you go. And to check whether all the steam is gone, then you can release that and then it's safe to take the lid off. So first and foremost after cooking our beans, we want to take one out, squish it between our fingers and make sure that it's completely soft. So they are perfect. Next I'm going to spoon out some of this water because we had to put enough water in to get it to the minimum spot on the pressure cooker. But it might be too much so we don't really want to curry that water in. So I'll take a bit out, set it aside in a bowl, and then I can add more back as I need. So I'll take enough out so that I can see all of the beans. So I've taken out about that much water, and now I can see the beans. So now we add the spice mix to the pot. Scrape it all out, and then I'll add some of the water I've set aside into the spice mix pot to help sort of mop up what's left so we're not losing any of the flavour that we've created here. And pour that into the pan. Stir it all together and then cook it for another, at least another 10 minutes so all the ingredients can get to know each other well. So the great thing about this meal is it can actually sit in the pot for a little while. I've probably had it in here for about half an hour because I've had other things to do. And it just helps the flavour infuse even more into the curry and makes it even more delicious. So I've added a little bit more of the water that we separated. But I'll just add a little bit more just to make it a bit more of a thin gravy. And as a final additions, we have the roughly chopped curry leaves. We have a nice generous squeeze of lemon to provide that sour taste. Of course the tomatoes are providing the sour taste as well, the tomato, but there's only one. So a bit of extra lemon juice is delicious. And then taste it and add some extra salt or pepper there is a teaspoon of salt in that gravy that we cooked the kidney beans in but remember some of that has been taken out so we might need to add a little bit more so just taste it and add some more salt if you need now in another pot I've been cooking my rice and I just want to show you that I mixed some red rice and white basmati rice together just to give this lovely pink combination So you can see the red rice in there. So that's just something you can do to make your life, your rice a little bit more colourful and interesting to make the presentation a little bit pretty. And over here I have the beginnings, do I fly? I have the beginnings of a lovely summer bitter greens, well spring bitter greens salad. So this is just spinach, some mustard tops. And some edible flowers and to that I'll just add some olive oil some lemon juice and a bit of salt and pepper to have with our curry here we have the finished product our rajma curry some red and white basmati rice predominantly white rice with just a handful of red basmati rice in it and a lovely spring bitter greens salad yummo